In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a payment method in Google Forms. So we're just going to start by creating a new form. And once you're on your form, click on these three vertical dots in the top right hand side. Click on get add-ons. And then in the search box, just type in payment and hit enter. Now you need to scroll down until you see this one here, which is payable forms. And go ahead and click on this. So you can see right here that this has been downloaded by over a quarter of a million people. This also works with Google Sheets and all also Google Forms. So go ahead and click on the install button. Then just sign in with your Google account and select continue. Scroll down to the bottom and select allow. And once it's been installed, we can press done. Now you're going to get this pop-up window, click on get started and then just select your default language, your home country, which I'm gonna to change to the United Kingdom, and also select the currency that you want to be paid in. So I'm going to select US dollars. Once you've done that, click on looks good. And this is just going to show you how to basically set up the payment methods. So the only thing you need to worry about is this line of text here. And I'm gonna show you how this works in a second, but basically you have your text to the left-hand side, and then you have the payment amount over to the right. So just click on next, get started video and select close window. So now we can begin setting up our payment method. So I'm just gonna give this the title payable link and then I'm going to create a multiple choice question. So I'm gonna type in here, select your payment amount and then I'm going to add a couple of options that people can come and check. So for option one, I'm gonna type in t-shirt and then I'm gonna type in a hyphen space and then I'm gonna type in the dollar amount. So this could be $50. You just want to type in here how much you want to be paid for this particular item. And I'm gonna do the same for the second one as well. So this could be some jeans and I'm gonna do this for $70. And you basically get the idea so you can have as many of these as you want. You just need to make sure your text is on the left-hand side and the price is on the right hand side like so. Now once you've done this, click on auto configure form and sheet from the right hand side. Then you can just scroll down and click on see the connected Google sheet. And this is where you're going to be able to see all of your payments. So essentially your invoices. I'm going to close out of this for a second. Then click on sync theme with checkout. And if you get this error message, it's because we have not published our Google form. So what you need to do is just press OK and click on publish in the top right hand side. Make sure this here is set to anyone with the link and press publish. And now if I click back on sync theme, you can see that all looks good and we can press show me a preview of my checkout page. And this is basically what it will look like to someone that's trying to make a payment. So this is just a complete example. So I'm just gonna close out of this. Then select connect a payment provider. And this is where we can go and select how we want to get paid. Now the easiest one to set up is just setting up a PayPal account. Because PayPal is such a recognized payment provider, I just like to use this one. But you can go and set up Stripe or Square, it's entirely up to you. So I'm gonna click on PayPal and then just scroll down and click on connect PayPal standard and you can simply sign in with your PayPal account. You may have to go and verify this connection. So I'm just gonna receive a text and press next. Now just scroll down and click on continue. Scroll down again and select agree. And just like that, we've now finished and we can press go back to payable ink. And as you can see, this is now set up. So I'm gonna close out of this window and that should now update and it should detect that you've connected to your PayPal. So I'm gonna close out this window and then you can choose to click on add sample payment methods. And this is basically going to show you what the payment option should look like. So this is what we've just created up here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this from my form. I'm just gonna delete all of these down here as well. You can see we can do different things to collect payments. It doesn't always need to be in this multi-choice format. You can also have check boxes and things like that. So once you've finished with your payment form, click on this button down here, make this form payable. And I've got this message saying that it can't detect any payable questions. So I'm just gonna go back and fix this by pressing okay. So what I'm going to do is just click on the add sample payment methods down at the bottom here. And it will say we've already added them to the end of your form, just press yes. And what I'm going to do is just add my payment methods to one of these windows here. So let me go and delete this one that we just created. And instead, I'm just going to add it to this one. So I'm gonna type out again, select your payment method and then just go in, adjust the prices again accordingly. So once you've done that and you've got your payment options, click on make this form payable once again. So once you've turned on this payment form, you can then go and press try your form now. And this is effectively what it's going to look like for your customers. So they can just go and enter their email address here. They can then go and select a payment method from one of the list of options, scroll right down to the bottom and press submit. And then they're going to get this payment link. So it will say payment is required as the next step. Then they can click on the link. And now because it's in test mode, people won't be able to pay right now, but this is essentially what it will look like for your customers. So they can go and input all of their information here. And you can see they can select pay with PayPal right at the bottom. So in order to go and make this live, 
once you're happy with all of this, come back over to your Google form, come back down to this window and scroll all the way down to the bottom. And you just want to turn off testing mode from this drop down arrow. And you can see now it will start using real money. And you can now go ahead and share this sheet with your customers and they can go and begin sending payments to you. So it's as simple as that, guys. If you did find this video helpful, then let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.